Okay, one of the global theories is is that these uh, clouds get lit from underneath um, by the sun being shining up from underneath them. And uh, I've done some time lapses here, and you'll notice as uh, the clouds get behind or in front of the sun, um, these clouds are underlit from underneath. And, uh, you know, everybody, all these club. Uh, people say, oh, well, they're getting lit by the sun shining from underneath them, lighting them up. And I say, no, 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 that is not what's happening. And here I did a, I started another time lapse. I stopped it short. I was just getting the corpuscular rays too. But I stopped it short because I really did see a perfect chance to zoom in on these clouds and show you how lit up they were from underneath. But the sun is behind them. Um, you know, so how, how is this sun lighting up these clouds from underneath if it, the sun is behind it? And what I contend to say is that the light is shining off the water way out in the Gulf of Mexico and shining back up underneath these clouds. And that's why they're lit more than if they're lit from the sun shining from, you know, being low on the horizon and all that, um, is on the horizon is basically like uh, you know two converging lines the the sky meeting the floor um, the sky is one level um, and, and you could also look at the Sun being a light well above the clouds um, also on another level so you've got actually uh, three lines of clouds and the clouds uh, you know let's use them as a reference point as a line of sight um, being the ceiling and the water being the floor um, you know you will see that the, the the sky or the floor and the ceiling will eventually meet and you can test this with uh, just putting two parallel lines one above the other and look down it and you will see that you know one line converges into the other now think of this as a, um, you know, a big ceiling and uh, a big floor, and anything that is above it or goes beyond it, you cannot see past that convergence line. Um, another picture I just threw in it does have some corpuscular rays, and then here's another um, <clears throat> ten minute time lapse of the sun. Um, actually, I was doing 25 minute time lapses, excuse me, it wasn't 10. But you can also see right here, clouds are uh, in front of that sun, but these clouds are getting all lit up red from underneath. So, you know, this was a perfect chance for me to show this and prove this. Where I've had other globe people come on the channel and, you know, claim that I'm, you know, full of shit or something that I'm not telling people the truth. Well, there was my proof. Now here, um, I got to a point doing these time lapses where I said I wanted to um, just do a video. And you'll see some things flying by. Um, you know, they'll flash like right there. Those are either birds far out or they're bugs, which were all around me um, in front of my camera lens. And they're just getting lit up by the light of the sun. So they look like you know UFOs flying by but I don't believe that they're UFOs I think they're either birds or they're bugs flying in front of my camera lens um, and that's why you're seeing them the way that you do um, so there's one that you know even flat earthers claim oh there's a UFO it's not a UFO it is a bug now right here um, I got to this point and I said, okay, uh, let me just speed this up. So this is two times the speed. I wanted to cut the video a little bit shorter. Um, so I slowed it down or sped it up two times. Um, now you see that cloud to the left. It's, it looks like it's below the sun. <clears throat> but the sun's just so far away that it only appears. Just like watching telephone poles go down the road on a nice straight flat road. They will get smaller and smaller and smaller. But they're all the same height. So that sun is the same height that it was when it was directly above me. 
it's just gotten farther and farther away. Now that cloud that's out there, how far out is that cloud? Um, now I, I can tell you that um, for one, I think it's more than 40 miles away. Um, for two, I, I mean, I, I actually think it's 40, 50, 60, maybe even more. Um, but, you know, I could get in my boat and haul ass out there and never even gain ground on it after covering 10 miles. It'd probably hardly move at all. Um, so that's one way to look at it. Now, you know, people say, well, you know, you see the sun go behind. Why can't you zoom in and, and bring it back up in, in the view? Well, it's because you cannot see past the convergence line. So once it converges on the horizontal plane, you will no longer be able to bring it back into resolution. But one of the things that I will tell you um, is that, you, you know, a lot of people don't do a lot of observations. And oh, another thing I wanted to say is if you're looking for music uh, to go along with my videos, I don't do a lot of music on my videos, so, you know, I, I like to com do commentary and tell you my opinion, and this is strictly my opinion, and, you know, you, you have a right to disagree with it um, all you want, that's your opinion, and I respect it, um, but right here, you'll start seeing the sun rise up out of the water, it's just a reflection, and what is it reflecting off of as it rises above the water? It's reflecting upon the water that's way out there in the horizon that my camera cannot resolve and it is uh, rising up to meet the real sun. And what, what happens when we have something like this? Well, this is my opinion. The sun is going to actually shrink within its own reflection. It will eventually get smaller and smaller within its own reflection. Plus, it's the light that we're seeing. You know, people say, well, put on a solar filter and you'll see something totally different. I put on solar filters and I still see it the same way. I'm sorry. Um, it's just going to blend into its own reflection and get smaller and smaller as it goes farther and farther away from us. Now, if the Earth is spinning at a thousand miles an hour, um, <laughs> you know, this thing should dip below the horizon like uh, a, a speeding bullet, but it doesn't. It just gets farther and farther and farther away. And as it does it, it's just blending into its own reflection. And, you know, this was, uh, I brought this back to regular speed, by the way. And you'll see it as it's, uh, you know, blending into itself. And another thing, too, if you really looked at it, the reflection, um, is sometimes bigger than the actual sun itself, the reflection light. But you can't see it because I'm low, I'm at a low perspective to the water, so I'm down real low. My camera was only about uh, four feet, and I, I was only about two feet off the water. Water was just below the seawall, and I'm, I'm almost at sea level here. So, um, you know, I'm pretty much almost laying on the floor and respects to how high the clouds are above me you know, as far as my ceiling goes I'm like the little bug on the floor now as you watch right here um, this is the important part you watch the Sun rise up off the water and go to its vanishing point go to its convergence point okay here it goes now there's, you're going to see a gap between the visible water, and this is where I'm saying it's getting smaller. It's just that you can't really see it, and it's above the water, and it's going to go to the vanishing point. That's the convergence point. Now is that where the real horizon is? I don't believe so. I, I, I do believe also that this ramped up water or this mirage effect above the visible water line is actually causing a ramp up it's actually ramping up but it is higher than the visible water line that's for sure and uh, <clears throat> this was a good point that I'm gonna bring up right here um, you know even though the the Sun has supposedly gone below that they say that you can jump up you know if I was to jump up as high as this, those clouds I could still see the Sun well there's no doubt about that in my little pipe experiment 
I showed you that, how that works. Now watch this. Look at that. Look it over this way. Not only do we have this, that, but look at this. Yeah. Okay. Tell me another one. Globies. Get it in the water here. And you got all these clouds right here supposedly blocking it out. So where's that light coming from? It's raining south of me. And look at that. Look at him. Converging rays from way over there, converging in, and even that in itself. And you've seen, you just seen the sunset, or depart, I should call it, sun departure. And I'm going to leave my camera right here and check this out. People don't even notice this. Uh, one lady sees it. Isn't that awesome? It's all the sun rays converging back to the eastern horizon. But the sun set, how is it doing that? The sun already went... Well, it departed our view, so how is it shining still on that eastern horizon? <coughs> I could tell you, but you wouldn't believe me. Well, how about I do a 10 minute time lapse on this? This was a 
10 minute time lapse, but only five minutes of it. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.